Well, this is certainly a good loosening up exercise. I call it the gold mine. You'll need three, two brushes and a painting knife. That's all we need. And over here I have burnt umber, that's the main colour, a bit of white, burnt sienna, little tiny tippy yellow there, not much, just a little touch, and some blue for the dark corners. And we start by giving the effect of light coming in over this area here. Now my brush is dirty with a burnt umber, that's okay, it's got a little bit of burnt umber in that streak, and the littlest streak of yellow, and that's all the yellow we need, no more. Then pick up your burnt umber, clean your brush up here, get it ready, and this is the entrance to the mine, so it's a higgly shape, but do keep your brush strokes genuine, firm brush strokes like that. And that's the entrance to your mine, it's that shape. I'm going to use a bit more white there because I want to have this rather dull, with the light shining on that rock face there and across the floor. And I'll clean my brush around the edge like this. So that gives us a misty look to start with around the entrance to the mine. Also, my entrance is a little bit big and it's right in the middle of my picture. Now, I didn't really need that. So let's chop it down a bit. Let's bring it across. That's the roof. There, let's have a littler entrance like that. It's still in the middle of the picture, but that doesn't matter. And the light shining in and giving us a glary look. A little bit of white. There's a light beaming in like that. So that's our front door. Across there, across there, that's it. That's what we need. From then, the mine will come towards us. Just use these brush strokes. Put your mine walls in like this, round. Doesn't matter, sometimes you've got four sides, sometimes five, sometimes six. And block in your, your heavy, dark walls for the mine all around like this. Block in, make sure you get every bit too. Don't miss anything. And there, don't come in like that or that. No cross strokes here. That's a good start. Now, the little bit of light, let's bring some of those. Now, I've got the light on the edge of my, my painting brush. There. There. Across the floor, let's have a bit of light there. Now, the light's coming in this way, so there'll be a little bit more light on this side, bouncing along the rock faces here, than what there would be up in this corner. So, let's have a little bit of light bouncing on the rock faces there, and because this rock face is closer to us, there might be a little bit more light on there, but that one's a bit dark, so we darken that out. I'm using a lot of paint. You might use a little bit, you might want to paint little pictures or big pictures. This one can be painted full size on a wall, it looks terrific. And block around the outside again, just clean my brush here, clean my brush across the bottom. Now let's do a bit of work on the floor. The floor is coming towards us, I've got pure white on there, I don't want pure white, I want to tone it down a little bit so it's not pure white and have the floor, just a few streaks coming towards us like that and the streaks get heavier as they come towards you. Now let's block in the rest with our background. Deep colour, deep colour, big, big brush strokes. You can go for a two-inch brush here if you want to. I'll keep working with this one. Across there, I'll fill in the top corner. There's a bit of a crisscross brush stroke up there because that's quite close to us and there's all types of rock faces up there. There, and I'm going to add that little bit of blue in there which will take it almost down to black. Give us a black and and the crisscross brush stroke is all right here but not in the middle of the picture up there a little bit more blue that's it now down the bottom i'll clean my brush first and do the same thing at the bottom fill it in with paint up this side across that side there and here so the secret is keep your brush strokes to a minimum and add the blue in the corner blue in the corner crisscross Give us that very dark corner and, and dark here at our feet. Very dark, we don't quite know what's there. Dark up the edge there. And burnt umber coming down into the darker corner. A bit more blue there. Now that's enough blue, no more. That's it. And a little bit of white gives us an idea of it coming towards us here. That's a few things that looks like I've got a bit of a roof there, so let's highlight it. Run that there. Cross that one over it. Here. 
These are all faces that have been cut on the roof. There. Bit of light touching that one. Not much light, just a little bit here. Very little bit. Just there, down there. And a little bit here. Oh, my, my paint's dried. Yours might be still wet. They carry on. And then down the bottom here, with the painting knife, pick up a bit of burnt umber and sculpture some rocks in the place along the walls here. There and here. Then with burnt sienna and white on your knife together, like that, burnt sienna and white, give them a little bit of colour, these rocks. Not much. Down the wall you can have a little bit of colour there. Now just a little bit. A little bit of colour on the rocks. Out there, 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 there. Now for the railway line, I'll lay my little brush with dark and light. So I've dark and light on there. And the railway line starts up there somewhere. We won't see that bit. Now these are the planks that the railway line's laying on. You notice I put the dark on the bottom of the brush and the light on the top of the brush. So that automatically gives me a dark and light line. There. And we'll bring this one in a bit stronger. And there'll be another one about here. They don't have to be detailed. And with your painting knife, pick up dark and light on your painting knife. They have dark on one side, or we've got a bit of light on there. Dark on one side, and a light on the other side. And with that, you can get a dark and a light railway line with the tip of your knife. You can use a brush if you wish. I'm going to use the tip of my knife and bring it in. And we'll curve that towards us like there's a bit of a curve in the mine. And again, the line slowly gets away from us, gets further apart as it comes towards you. Now, let's just block in the little truck. It's about there. Has a couple of wheels on it. And it's loaded with ore. Like that. A bit of a pattern on it. And with burnt umber, paint a man there. He's working. That's his head. His body's bent. Leg up. One leg down supporting himself. And he's swinging a pick. He's got a pick in his hand. There it is. He's swinging that. I'll put a little bit of sunlight on that pick, only just a little bit. A little bit of light on him. And we'll give him a bit of colour. A little bit of burnt sienna. That'll do. He's working there. Then there's some props. Now, put the props where it's not going to spoil your picture. Let's go across here. That's holding the roof up. And then there's got to be something holding that up. So one will be coming out of there to hold that up. And that's good because it cuts through there. Leave a little bit of light either side. Good idea. And we'll have another prop about here. And that looks like it really needs a prop about there too. They don't have to be prominent. This is a long way away and you only see bits of them. But you do have to suggest that the roof is being propped up here and there with things. Now let's have a very strong prop here somewhere. Um, about here. Okay, and I'll add a little bit of burnt sienna into that one. Give it a little bit of colour. Of course, yours won't be exactly the same as mine. So you put your props where you think they might be. Let's have one up through here, because sometimes I have them too far apart. It doesn't look quite real there. There. And place them in quickly. Your prop up there. A prop up there, load the brush with two colours at once, and we can have a pole up here, there, and another one here. That could be a very dark one there, there, and one across the top. I think we'll change to the knife in a moment, and we'll put these in with a knife. So clean your knife, pick up your dark. A bit of burnt sienna, a bit of white. You've got the three colours on your knife at once. And we need the white on the bottom of the knife. So we'll have a prop in here. That's a beam. Now they're running parallel. I didn't really need that in there. 
that's better. I didn't like them running parallel, so I'll have to fix that somehow. We'll have this one moving up like that a bit more. He's got a bit of a bend in him, a little bit more colour. And this one, I don't want it parallel with that one. I want it leaning in from the edge of the picture. That looks good there. And this one, in from the edge of the picture here. Quite a big bit of timber that. Let's have something here suggesting that there needed to be something to hold this bit up here. Now, on the top of the roof, there'll be a little bit of light coming through bits and pieces. So, there, that's all we need. Don't fiddle around with the corners. In fact, we can knock that one back and have it a bit darker. And there, that's all. You don't have to see exactly what that is. It's just something up there, probably a rock. Don't have it going out of your picture too much. Now, let's look at the bottom. Take that off there, that's okay, it's okay. Things, just clean your knife here. Bits of rock in the wall. And the same thing on the other side. Clean your knife down here. But keep your, your knife strokes into the picture, always into the picture. My waist sleepers don't look quite prominent. I'll put a little bit on there, and that makes them stand out a little bit. A little bit of light on some of these poles. And down the edge of that rock wall there. We have an area here where we can put something of interest. Now it needs to be leaning across there. That's a shovel. And that'll be a pick. Now the pick's easy to draw. It's just like that. And the shovel, well, draw a shovel. About like that. It'll do. That's a pick and shovel. Ooh, I forgot his hat. There. Well, that might bring back some memories to some people. Hope you enjoy that one. Another hot down there. Hot here today. Thank you. Bye.